Hello everyone, my name is Leo and welcome to Part B in our SharePoint Administrator User's Guide on installing SharePoint. In this video we'll be wrapping up our walkthrough of the SharePoint installation and we'll talk a little bit about how to manage SharePoint's day-to-day -day operations. Okay, let's get started. We'll go ahead and install the prerequisites, accept, and then next. Then we'll go ahead and click finish. It'll restart the machine, then we're going to log in and finish the SharePoint install. Okay, we're back in, and it'll go ahead and complete uh, the rest of that installation. Okay, we'll hit finish. Double click on SharePoint server again. Click the install SharePoint server. So after about 30, about 40 minutes, uh, we're finally on to installing SharePoint. <clears throat> so now we have to look for the key. So we'll go ahead and uh, just do a quick Google search. Microsoft SharePoint 2010 trial key. Here we are. Paste, continue, accept, continue, install now. Okay, now we'll go ahead and close this and run the uh, SharePoint products configuration wizard. Go ahead and click next here. That's all right, no one's using it. We're gonna create a new server farm, the database server. That'll be your computer name, which you can find right here. Ours is SP2010. Okay, and a database access account. Now we're gonna to wanna to remember to create a new username and uh, password for this account. So we'll do file, add remove snap in, active directory users and computers. We'll go to our services accounts, new user. We'll do, we'll call this SharePoint database access. Do. Okay, then we'll set a password. Okay, and we'll type in the username here. Here's the domain nextstar.local, uh, but you don't need the dot portion. So I'll just do nextstar backslash and then the username. I'll hit next, a farm password. Okay, and go ahead and make sure that you remember this. Hit next. Specify a port number. You can uh, make this something easily rememberable if you need to. So we'll just make ours 30,000. Hit next here. Look over that stuff, all that's fine. Hit next and then it'll go ahead and process, uh, create the, the database and all this other stuff. And when we're done, uh, we're really one step away from having our own SharePoint site. Let's click finish. It'll bring us to the farm connection, I'm sorry, farm configuration wizard. And this is where we're gonna go ahead and create our first site. Put in our username, which is administrator, and our password. I'm just gonna go ahead and close out of that. Eventually we're gonna start accessing SharePoint from uh, you know, from a different machine. You can go ahead and hit yes if you would like to, to make SharePoint better or hit no. I wanna make SharePoint better, obviously. Uh, now we'll go ahead and click the start the wizard button. Okay, and now we should create a new account. Uh, so that's why we still have this open. New user, SharePoint service account. Or you just, I mean, it's obviously an account, so we don't have to put that. So SP service. Okay. And we'll put, remember the domain, SP service. And put in our password. Okay, and we can scroll down and look actually what we're going to be adding. Uh, we're not going to be using Lotus Notes, which is a uh, IBM uh, mail product. That all looks good to me, so we'll go ahead and click Next. 
the process and take a second. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and configure the farm. So we'll add a title. We'll call this, hmm, let's see, next demo. That's good, that's good. Team site's fine. Um, hit OK here. And we'll click finish. And that's it. Okay, so this is the central administration site where you actually manage your all of your SharePoint stuff from. Uh, so just for an example, you can see, you know, backup and restore security, configuration wi uh, wizards, um, you know, monitoring. So we'll go ahead and click on monitoring. And um, we'll go ahead and click on review job definitions. And if you want to, feel free to play around here. Uh, you'll notice that you know, basically we have this thing that's going to run, or a whole bunch of different things that are going to run uh, at these intervals and check the status of our uh, SharePoint uh, site and essentially check to make sure it's healthy. Uh, there's not going to be anything showing up yet, but there are going to be a few things that pop up uh, after this run. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and call it a night, uh, let this run, and then tomorrow we'll go ahead and fix some of our uh, SharePoint, um, SharePoint issues. If you want to go to, uh, you know, the SharePoint that you're familiar with, if you look here, we have SP2010 colon 3000. Well, we'll just copy this, paste this, hit enter, put in our username and password, and there we are. This is what you're obviously used to seeing, and um, you know you can take it from here. Again, tomorrow we're going to go over the uh, central administration uh, sp uh, stuff, specifically uh, monitoring and the errors that pop up. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. It was a long one. Hopefully you stuck with me, and we'll see you uh, tomorrow. Thanks for joining.